Hello everyone, welcome back for another image manipulation tutorial. And today what we're going to do is we're going to set up our project folder and look at the JES user interface. So let's create a new folder. Uh, let's call it JES. And all right. Actually, we won't be creating project today. Ah, uh, yes, we will. Um, let's call this video one. Okay. So we're going to be working in this folder today. Good. And I suggest that everyone creates a new folder just so they can store all their files in there and be organized. So once you have that set up, um, fire up JS. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to save this file. So press Command S or go File and Save Program As. Actually, that was Command Shift S that I just saw up there. It was a shortcut. So we're going to want to save it in JS Video One, and let's name it um, Video One dot py. Make sure you have the extension py for a Python file. Click save. And if we go to our folder, video1, you can see it saved our video1 uh, Python file, but it also saved a video1 py k and video1 py log. Now, um, this one is just the standard Python file that we work with. This is um, a backup file which is essentially a copy of this file um, and the log file is just um, keeps record of all the stuff we do in JS. Okay, cool. Now that you guys know that and it's not freaking you out anymore, we can head back here. So most of the time we're going to be working up here in um, the white spot which is the area that when you save, it actually saves to the file that we just created, video1.py. So everything you want to save, you type up here, and everything you don't want to save, you type down there in the command area. Now, um, the scripts you write in JS don't work like a normal Python file. So if I have a function called uh, func or whatever, and it doesn't do anything, and I um, do this and I run my file, well this actually won't do anything. Um, even if it said like uh, print hello world, like that wouldn't do anything. You have to call func uh, down here in order to do something. Even then that wouldn't work because my file is not loaded. But if I did func there you go, hello world down here. Okay, so now that you know that, well, just to prove it to you guys, see if I load the program, see nothing happens, and I don't have a beautiful hello world down here. Okay, so everything you want to save goes up here. Everything you don't want to save goes in the command area, and this command area is actually very interactive, so that's pretty good. Other than that, um, key things you should know about JS is first there is an options right here. Options you might want to change um, a mode from normal to expert. Um, this is just uh, whenever you get uh, an error, it'll the error will respond differently whether you have normal or expert expert you'll get um, the real programmer definition while normal just for like uh, beginners uh, and it's usually easier to read so I don't know I just keep it on normal I didn't really bother going to expert um, font size mine's a little bigger just because I'm um, recording right now but you can set it to whoever you want um, oops um, line number just keep that it's good um, another thing that you might want to check is actually autosave before because every time you actually try to do load program 
like now it usually asks you to save so that might actually be a good time saver also um, save backup copy on save you might also want to have that check I think it's checked by default though and if you want to change the theme you can do so as you please I'm just going to keep it on default and they don't have that many options but that's fine and another thing one last thing is uh, will be really useful is the JS functions up here now what these are are these are all the Java uh, functions that were added to um, Python when they made JS so these are what we are going these are all the functions we're going to use that are going to allow us to manipulate images you see if I'm again uh, making a function and I call and I use one of those functions up here uh, JS functions like um, uh, make it turtle you see it appears in purple and that means it's one of those Java functions and what's really neat about going up here to find a function is I'll open up this help menu and I'll tell you okay make world function takes a parameter called the world and returns a turtle object so it'll give you a, um, a list of parameters and output as well as an example so that's really good if ever you get lost so all the Java functions will appear in purple all the Python keywords will appear in blue don't forget that so you can look through all of these and familiarize yourself with the functions we will be using there's also one last thing is the the help it's actually really good. Um, if you just look through it, you can find a whole bunch of um, these are essentially all the, the functions I just showed you, or just all one after the other. So if you want to do like a function marathon, well, you can read all of this and become a JS Pro. So that's just your introduction on how JS works. And we will start our first image manipulation in the next video. I hope I will see you there. See you guys later.